I am going to play the best Clash Royale deck for every single champion. And at the end, we'll rank them all to find out which champions are the strongest. Starting out with the Archer Queen, we have a 3.5 Elixir Archer Queen Bridge Band deck. Going in with a Royal Ghost opening play. How powerful is this Archer Queen deck going to be and how will it compare to the newer champions? Oh, he's got a Mega Knight. Let's go ban over here right side of the arena and then we'll surround the Mega Knight with some Barbarians. Oh, never mind. Magic Archer first. Once the Mega Knight jumps, then we go Barbarians. There it is. Boom, that's the round. And then we heal him up with the Heal Spirit, keep them all alive. Boom, baby. I mean, three of them. And then we go on the counter push. Let's go Ghost left side, dual lane aggression. He appreciates our skill, dropping the well played, and the Barbarians going in. My Dracula locks onto the Electro Wizard. Does it destroy? Honestly, that's not a bad elixir trade considering we've got damage from both towers. Battle Ram. Left side. If he drops a Mega Knight, when he go Magic Archer to snipe the tower as well. Where's your Mega Knight? There it is. <laughs> He's playing exactly as we expected him to. Magic Archer locks on. Look at that juicy tower damage. And then we can honestly surround the Mega Knight with some Evolved Barbarians and we'll destroy it. We can kill him up with the Heal Spirit. And this should deny all that tower damage. Look at that perfect defense. And now we finally have the Archer Queen. Let's put her to the test and see how strong she is as a champion nowadays. Archer Queen going in. Ability activated. Come on, Archer Queen. Honestly, that was pretty good. Oh, and there are the Evolved Archers. Come on. Archer Queen versus the Evolved Archers. Dude, she's a champion. She's destroyed by one half of one evolution. Clash Royale. Come on. Goes over here with the Bandit. He's going to go Mega Knight again. Let's go a Magic Archer here. Hit the tower one more time, please. There it is. <laughs> Look at that tower damage. And then, once again, defend Barbarians and an Archer Queen. We heal the barbs up with a Heal Spirit, and we go Archer Queen ability. And then, honestly, that should be easy defense, dude. The Archer Queen is so powerful in defense with that ability. And he keeps falling into the trap of placing the Mega Knight on defense. Ben up here up high. This time he won't, though. Ben locks onto the Archers. Archer Queen going in. Where is your Mega Knight, my friend? <laughs> there it is. But once again, the Evolved Barbarians going down, denying any possibility of tower damage. And honestly, if the Inferno stays there, we can lock on a tower with the Magic Archer here. Look at this. Look at this. We don't even need a Battle Ram to get to the tower because it is all Magic Archer. Look at that tower damage, and that is game. Archer Queen, Bridge Bam for the win. I'm going to rate this 8 out of 10. It is very effective, high pressure, and you have the Magic Archer as a backup win condition. But it can be a bit trickier to play if you aren't used to those high pressure strategies. Next up, we have the Golden Knight in a 3.6 Goblin Drill Control deck. Let's go in Super Aggressive Goblin Drill first play. Do we get any damage done? Honestly, it might work out. For 4 Elixir, getting... 700 damage done? No, 800. We can go Bomb Tower over here. Should splash the Firecracker as well as the RG. And then the Golden Knight should finish it off. Come on, Golden Knight, destroy. We could have got Goblins there to destroy the RG faster and deny damage, but I wanted to save the Elixir and instead use it on our Knight. And then we can go one more Goblin Drill at the bridge. Get the Fireball ready to go for a Firecracker. What do you got, my friend? Oh, let's Fireball her down. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. Yes, let's go. Goblin stab that tower and look at that damage. Oh, there is a RG. Uh, we might need to go bomb tower here. Oh, that was close, dude. Come on, bomb tower, destroy. Um, yo, that ev evolution is insane, dude. Come on, goblin stab. Look at which damage it does. Honestly, we're still doing pretty well. We can get a golden knight to go for the firecracker once she crosses the river first. Should be able to attack her initially. We do take one shot to our tower with that, which is obviously less than ideal. But now we have a Golden Knight going in with the Goblin Drill. He drops a cannon. Golden Knight should dash onto the skeletons and the tower. That's what I needed. If he did not drop the skeletons, that Golden Knight would not have connected. But because he did, he wasted one elixir and we got some basically free tower damage. Let's slow roll the knight over here left side of the arena. Get the bomb tower ready to go for the RG one more time. Goblins off to the side here. Come on, baby. Come on. Go, Goblins, go. Yes, sir. And then I kind of want to go in with a Goblin Drill. We get the Nidal ready to go. Pull everything together here so we can connect with the tower. Let's go. Golden Knights OP. Fireball for the Firecracker. Boom. No, but we the Knight go in. We the Knight go in. Evolved Knight destroying. Winning the game for us. We don't even need the champion. We just need the evolutions. Bomb Tower over here with a Knight and some Goblins. And that should be a sufficient defense here. Honestly, we just nailed it back. 
We still the RG back once we're done. And yoink. Get out of here. The Knight goes in, destroys everything, and that is a solid victory with the Golden Knights. Thankfully, he did not have a little prince in his deck. I'm going to rate this a solid 7 out of 10. The synergy with the NATO, the Golden Knight, and the Executioner is incredibly powerful. Moving on to Champion 3, we have the Skeleton King with a 3.8 Elixir Royal Giant deck. Let's go in with a Royal Giant, same lane as the Ice Wizard. We, I'm thinking he probably has a Splash Yard deck, but we're going to see. Oh, it's definitely something else. He's got the Golden Knight in there. Okay, so we won't build up a huge push behind the RG, so the Golden Knight doesn't get too much value with the dash. But I think what we'll do is we'll use the Skeleton King in a minute. Oh, he's got the recruits. Come on, Skeleton King. I'm waiting for the ability before we go in with the Mother Witch. I think he just used it, right? By the way, I want to get some of these piggies here. Come on, Mother Witch. Come on, Mother Witch. Give me some piggies. Oh, you're going to fireball it down? That is way too aggressive. We destroyed the Golden Knight. We have a piggy and a barbarian going in. And an additional little Larry the Skeleton. I think he goes in. Larry gets destroyed. And then we can go in with a slow roll Royal Giant. I can almost guarantee he will go in with the Evolved Royal Recruits into our RG. Oh, he's got a P.E.K.K.A. Can we go Zappies? And we can pull the P.E.K.K.A. away with the Fisherman? We should be able to keep our RG alive. The only outlying factor is the fact he's got the Evolved Recruits. Can we get the Fisherman to yoink it away before it's too late? There it is. There it is. Oh, there's the Fireball. Come on, RG. Get in there, my friend. One shot, please. Oh, so close. And the Mother Witch will unfortunately... Oh, it doesn't die. Um, if we can tombstone on this, then we might be fine, right? Come on, skeletons. Come on, skeletons. Yes. Saved by the skeletons. And there are the recruits. He's exactly in the middle right now with probably a skeleton king here. And then, honestly, Mother Witch. I don't want to give him too much fireball value since so separating everything apart. But the skeleton king should come in clutch with his defense. The barbarian's destroying. Tombstone in the middle. And he does go fireball. So let's try and keep this momentum going. We're going to go exactly in the back. We got skeleton spawning out to further fuel our... Oh, he's going to go arrows. What? I kind of want to go in with the Mother Witch right side. We'll barb the left lane here. Which lane are you going to go fireball for, my friend? No fireball here? Just a golden knight? Does he, do you go dash? Do you go dash? No dash ability. I'm going to go RG here, my friend, then. If you're not going to dash, I'm going to go RG at the bridge and hopefully punish. You just wasted your P.E.K.K.A. He's got nothing for the Royal Giants. Look at the RG going in. We can even go Skeleton King for further destruction and pop the ability as soon as we can. Look at this. That is game. That is a beauty and everything in between. Skeleton King Royal Giant. I'm going to rate it also a 7 out of 10. It is very versatile against a wide variety of strategies. And the Mother Witch is one of my favorite cards to play. Next up, we have the Mighty Miner in a 2.9 Hog Cycle. Mighty Miner going down to distract the Skeleton Dragons. I'm going to go Goblin Spam right side just to cycle and just see what my opponent has. I want to figure out a strategy before we go further into this battle. Lumberjack and Electro Dragon. Probably going to be some variety of a Balloon Freeze deck. Let's go Fight Cracker over here, left side. Which means he probably has the Nato and the Bowler in there, which does not bode well for our Hog Rider. But we'll find out right now. Do we see a Bowler? Do we see a Tornado Spell? Do we see a Bar Barrel? No. We see Barbarians. Oh, we get one Hog Shot. Guess we just Ice Burst this back. What do I got here? I kind of need my Bomb Tower for this, dude. I don't want to overcommit too much. Oh, no. Uh, we should be fine. Tower will finish them off. I'm not going to commit too much more elixir for that defense. We'll soak a few shots to our tower, but I want to save it for the next push. So if I go Firecracker and a Hog Rider here, what does he have as a response? His Nato's out of rotation right now. He can go Lumberjack. Oh, Skeleton Dragons is a decent response as well. Still got two Hog Shots. And we can go Mighty Miner to stop the Skeleton Dragons and the Lumberjack. But where is the Balloon? I'm thinking he's probably got a Balloon deck in there, right? Balloon Freeze? Or is it going to be something spicy and crazy? Oh, it's a Golem deck. Okay. All right. There's the NATO. But honestly, we might be able to destroy the tower still with the power of the Firecracker Evolution and the Goblins. Come on, Firecracker. One more shot, please. Oh, not quite. Not quite. But defensive bomb tower. A bit further away from the river so he can't go snipe. It, so he can't snipe it with the dragons. Go Mighty Miner here with the ability, please. Bomb. See ya. Boom, baby. This is where I wish I really had a... Um, some other air defense, please. Oh, no. Fight don't die, please. Oh, the Fight did die. Um, if we destroy the E-Dragon, though, we'll be fine. Okay, E-Dragon's dead. Yes, sir. The bomb tower placement was less than ideal. I kind of panicked, but that's okay. We can go Goblins here for the Golem. Earthquake down the pump. And Mighty Miner for the Lumberjack here. 
All right, cool. We defend that. We also have the Firecracker back in rotation. So we can probably go in here with a Hog Rider and a Firecracker for a solid, solid push. Come on, my friends. He's going to the King Tower again, isn't he? Yeah, but look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the firecracker. And he misses the NATO. And now all we need is one earthquake for the win. Let's go. I'm going to rank it a solid 6 out of 10. It is very effective, but can be tricky on defense with only the bomb tower and the mighty miner, especially against Aerodex. Next up, we have the monk in a 3.9 disgusting elixir golem deck. Let's go a monk right side of the arena to see if we get the king tower activated. Actually, the electro spirit's level 14. It won't even hit it, right? It won't even hit our king tower. No, it won't. But you know what we can do? We can use the monk ability to destroy this firecracker. And bop, see ya. <laughs> I always love it. It is so satisfying every time you can do that. Let's go in with a Nightwitch right side for some dual lane aggression. Obviously running some variety of a hog cycle. Let's go arrows here for the firecracker. Come on, come on, come on. Nightwitch, get in there, please. Nightwitch, stay alive. Can I raise you up? Ah, uh, it's not worth it, but I did it anyways. Come on, Nightwitch. Nah, that's okay. I mean, we got, what? 800 tower damage done. That's not bad. And then we go Barbarians for the Hog Rider and we just destroy Barbarians with the counter push versus the Skeletons. Who wins? Evolved Skeletons or Evolved Barbarians? Oh, the Evolved Skeletons dominate. Yo, those Barbarians got annihilated. Let's go one more Monk right here, though. Let's see if he goes to the Firecracker. He's going to try to activate his own King Tower. So I'm not going to go Ability right now. If I go ability right here, he could honestly activate his own king tower with that firecracker. So we won't. We won't fall for the bait. Instead, we go Night Witch for the Hogwarts right side. Um, I'm going to soak the firecracker. I don't want to waste an e golem. I could have went e golem to get my king tower activated against the firecracker. But the one thing with the elixir golem is you cannot waste it. If you give your opponent too much free elixir, you instantly lose the game. So instead, I'm going to go battle healer here. We still get the king tower activated, but we don't give him free elixir. All right, battle is going in. Let's go a split barbarians from the king tower. And I want to get the electro dragon. Oh, he's got a Tesla tower. That's perfect. We got barbarians going down. Where's the firecracker? I'm waiting for the firecracker. Let's go airs over here. And then all we got to do is just play shut down defense. And this game should be over. There's the second Tesla tower. Eagle on me here right side of the arena. The Evolved Barbarians are ready for that Hog Rider. And then we go E-Dragon for the Skeletons. And then all we need, honestly, is the arrows for the Firecracker here, actually. Yeah, this arrows are down. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, absolute destruction. They heal the Eagle them up. We'll rage up my Barbarians. And the Barbarians going in. And they cannot be stopped. Look at that tower damage. Barb going ham. E-Dragon still locked on. And is that enough? Not quite, not quite. But honestly, if we can get the monk to cross the river, we just go ability, get some chip damage, and then win the game. Look at the monk going over here. Monk goes down. A few arrows to that tower. Arrows back to these skeletons here. And the firecracker. And the monk goes in. It's still alive. It's still alive, dude. Oh, he's got no Tesla. Wait for the monk to cross. Wait for the monk to cross. Oh, he's not going to let me. Unless he does. There we go. And we arrows back the firecracker. And that is the damage we needed. The monk ability coming in clutch. And one more arrow seals the deal. Good game. Monk deck, I'm going to rate you 7 out of 10. But that leads us to our very final deck. And the most recent champion, the Little Prince. And here we have a 3.4 graveyard deck. Oh, Royal of Giant at the bridge. This should be an easy defense. The baby bring destroys the bats. Tombstone distracts the RG. Does he have a heavy spell for my little prince? Just the arrows. Oh, he's so loading. Let's see if we can go with ability right now. We can poison his champion down. We can go our own. And then we can go little prince ability. We get the guardian spawning out. Destroys his guardian. Keeps my prince alive. Dude, the prince is busted. Let's go with the knight right side of the arena. I think he has the RG evolution ready to go. I believe the RG was the evolved one, right? Let's go tombstone over here to soak the prince charge. Get a baby dragon ready as well. Oh, baby dragon for the dark prince. Let's go. And then little prince over here right side. And then I want to go in with the uh, barbell. Barbell, barbell, barbell. Come on. Destroy the prince, please. And then we go guardian. I need you. Come on. Yes. He does not get his ability off. So we have the Guardian tanking for our Prince. Going in. 
Watch the Guardian lock onto that tower, and once it gets to maximum DPS, it does so much damage. Let's try that one more time. Knight going down. Where is the Royal Giant? If he goes Prince again, I don't think he's learning from his mistakes. But he's not going Prince, though. Surprise! I think he's not... <laughs> I don't know if he's learning, and that's okay. I will allow it. Let's go Babe Dragon for the Dark Prince. Little Prince over here, right side. And then where is his champion? There it is. Poison should destroy it. And then we have the Knight Evolution to tank for our Little Prince. And I really want to go Graveyard. Can we go Graveyard right now to capitalize on the Knight Evolution? And then go Prince Ability. Come on. No, don't die, Prince. I'm sorry. Honestly, I don't even know why I bothered with Graveyard. I should have just went Prince Ability. We don't even need Wing Conditions anymore. Because the Prince Ability is so strong, there's no point to go in with your Wing Conditions. Go Nate over here. Pull the RG away. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, sir. And then... Honestly? We can go Barbell for this. Finish off the little Prince, please. And then we should have a nice Graveyard counter push. Graveyard going in. Little Prince going in. Poison the Dark Goblin down. And then I wish I had three more for the Guardian. Do we actually get it though? Yo, we do! And it locks onto that tower. Let's go! The Prince is so broken. Tombstone over here for the Prince. And the it's a double Prince push. <laughs> Two Princes going in for the price of one. Um, let's go NATO for these bats as well as this uh, RG. We finished off the Prince. And honestly, the fact that he goes ability, that doesn't even matter. So we can go our own Prince over here left side. And then we can probably go in with a Baby Dragon Graveyard. Actually, just a Guardian Ability Graveyard is all we need. Okay. Guardian Ability Graveyard. And we poison. I keep thinking this Hogwarts is going down. Why does that play the Hogwarts sound effect, dude? Uh, baby dragon for the dark prince, please go. And honestly, this is it. This is it. Night evolution going down with the prince. There's a the prince. There's a prince. They all together, please. Nido into the prince ability here. Then we go prince ability. Zoic. And knocks it back. Prince is maximum DPS. Then we go graveyard. And that's it. Perfect combination. Graveyard. Poison. Little prince and a knight. Destroys the RG. Destroys the, um... The Dark Goblin, we have ourselves a victory. Little Prince, I'm gonna rate you a 10 out of 10. You are one of the most broken champions to ever be released in this game. And it was free for everyone. And here is my final champion ranking. As you can see, the Little Prince is insanely powerful and basically free wins if you can use it. Whereas all of the other champions are fairly comparable with each other. But if I had to rank them, this is how I would. But this can change in the future because balance changes, but make sure you subscribe for some more Clash Royale content.